guys, welcome back. It's Rowena. It's Felicia. <laughs> Just when we thought we learned our ABCs back to front and that chapter of our life was over with, we realized there's more. The ABCs of skincare. Up until now, we've covered vitamin A, which is all about retinols and retinoids. Then there's vitamin B3, the magical niacinamide. And then of course, our bright and zesty friend, vitamin C. The next most popular is vitamin E. So today we're going to find out just what vitamin E is all about, when it's best to use it, and which skin issue it can really help with. But also, which skin types are most suitable for using it? Because if it's used in the wrong way or it's used on the wrong skin type, it can create pore clogging or comedogenic effects, which is obviously not ideal. <laughs> and we have a bunch of our vitamin E infused products that we're going to share with you guys and how to use them in our routine. And that's not all because there are so many hacks out there telling you that you can pop a capsule and apply it to your face, your lips, your eyes, and your scalp, and that it will help with things like acne scarring. And so we'll be breaking down if they really are that effective. Let's start with what vitamin E even is, shall we? Because unlike its other friends like vitamin A, B, and C, vitamin E is actually the name given to a family of oil-soluble antioxidants. The ones that we need to know and that we'll see most on the ingredient list or our skincare or even supplements is alpha tocopherol or tocopherol acetate. And these are the forms of vitamin E that will be in your favorite cleansers, serums, and moisturizers. And this is because it's the only form of vitamin E that our bodies recognize and meet human requirements. Now the cool thing is vitamin E isn't just found in our skincare or supplements or even in foods because remember how we always say our bodies are quite a magical and majestic like natural production factory? <laughs> Vitamin E is also oil soluble or a lipophilic substance. This is similar to vitamin A, which is also oil soluble, whereas B and C are water soluble. And what this means is that vitamin A and E can combine or be dissolved in or can even penetrate through oils. So where do we find the most oils on our bodies? Ding, our face. <laughs> and going further down in our pores. Now going one step further through our sebaceous glands. Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> and what you might not have known till now is that vitamin E, or more specifically alpha tocopherol, is produced and accumulated in our sebaceous glands inside our pores. And all our pores lie in the dermis layer of our skin, which is that thickest part, where things like collagen synthesis all happen. Then how does the vitamin E in our sebaceous glands move to the very surface of our skin to become that glistening film that we see? As we know, the sebaceous glands produce an oily substance called sebum, and sebum is a substance that our bodies make to naturally moisturize and protect our skin. And what sebum does is combine and carry the vitamin E through the teeny tiny hairs on our face, like a little shuttle bus, <laughs> to the surface of our skin. So there are high levels of vitamin E just chilling on our epidermis. Which is why we look like cute little grease balls sometimes, or all the time, all the time. lately. <laughs> if you have like oily skin. <laughs> and our sebum also contains not just vitamin E, but also squalene, cholesterols, and triglycerides which are a type of fatty acid that all work together to naturally nourish and moisturize our skin. But it doesn't just moisturize. This gluey substance also acts like a shield to waterproof our skin and protect it from harmful oxidation that happens from the environment like UV damage and free radicals. So isn't our bodies just naturally amazing? <laughs> it's a miracle! <laughs> and fun fact, most of our sebaceous glands are on our face and scalp areas, which is why we always get oily in these two places. And also there's two places where sebaceous glands aren't found, which are on the hands and soles of our feet. But there's sweat glands. There's definitely sweat glands. Cause imagine us just gliding around on like oil <laughs> on our feet. Like when you're hanging on for dear life, you just 
This means that people who have oily skin tend to have higher levels of vitamin E because they have more oils. While those with drier skin don't have as much in comparison. Womp womp. Also, as we age, we'll all experience a gradual reduction in our sebum production, which is why our skin loses its natural elasticity and moisture and its ability to protect itself. To easily remember the benefits of vitamin E, just think of a triple A battery. Antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-aging. Triple whammy. Because one of the major benefits of vitamin E shows repeated results for the ability to absorb the energy from ultraviolet or UV light, protect our skin from free radical damage, which is a huge reason for premature aging of the skin. It can also have anti-inflammatory roles for dry skin types or atopic dermatitis, or a great healing ingredient for those suffering from a dry, irritated, and flaky, compromised skin barrier. So let's start off with that. Dry skin types, eczema, and atopic dermatitis. The thing with dry skin types, you can probably, you know, attest to this. Or people who have atopic dermatitis, which is a type of eczema, is that the skin will often flare up and you don't really know when, but it comes up in like certain weathers, it becomes irritated, it's itchy and inflamed, and it's the three eyes that we don't want in life. What we do want is eyes pops. Cheers! <laughs> And back to it. <laughs> Basically, the skin layers are broken and aren't forming a strong protective barrier, which is why a lot of products will tend to burn or aggravate the skin if you're going through this because it's able to seep in through the crack. And in this case, there isn't enough sebum being naturally produced to nourish it back to life. So it makes complete sense that applying vitamin E on dry skin types can be one of the best things you can do. Because it's assisting the skin where it needs help the most and keeping the fats and lipids at an optimal level. And doing this can help seal up little cracks in the skin barrier that cause moisture loss or tool, which leaves the skin feeling irritated, dry and tight. For dry skin, you can apply vitamin E oil onto extremely dry skin areas where it really needs that extra boost and TLC rather than all over the body because it does tend to be quite thick and can be slightly sticky in its purest form. And it's been shown to relieve eczema for some people, but again, because skincare is always case by case, and things like eczema have a lot to do with balancing the internal systems of our body, it really just depends on each person, so just try it out for yourself just to be sure, and if you're curious if it works for you. If I put it all over my body, it's too much, but then if I yeah. focus on just like the arm areas and then the, the inflamed or the flaky areas, it actually helps a lot. And then yeah. I put a layer of of normal, regular lotion on top mm. to really seal it all in. Because it's actually thicker than Vaseline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, like you it's literally ripped. stick it's to like... things. <laughs> <laughs> but the next major benefit is free radicals. When it comes to the relationship of antioxidants and free radicals, we've covered this in depth in a previous video, but in a nutshell, free radicals are all around us. It's all caused by UV rays, and it's even higher when there's pollution and cigarette smoke in the air. And it's also naturally occurring in our bodies. They're basically angry little things that are missing an electron, and so it spends its days destroying and destructing things in its path, like our skin, and until it can find its missing electron friend. Don't underestimate the damage they can do just because you can't see them. They can really eat away at us on a cellular level and age the skin prematurely, and slowly but surely eat away at our youth and radiance. Yep. Hard pass. So how do we protect our skin and bodies from free radicals? Antioxidants! <laughs> The cool thing is all our vitamin friends like A, B, C, and E are powerful antioxidants, which is why it's so important to have them in our diets and in our skincare, because only antioxidants can come in and donate that missing electron to the free radical to neutralize and make it happy again. <laughs> so it makes perfect sense that if you pair some of these vitamins together, they would be even stronger in fighting off premature aging, fine lines, and things like hyperpigmentation, right? Because two is better than one. Takes two to tango. But not only is vitamin E a strong antioxidant, it's been tested a lot on its ability to protect the skin by absorbing the strong energy from UV light that kills the collagen and elastin fibers in our skin, which is known as photo damage. 
And as we said before, our sebum contains squalene, but squalene is very reactive and it oxidizes really quickly. So when squalene in our sebum oxidizes, it becomes highly inflammatory and can even contribute to things like breakouts and acne. Fun! Uh -huh. What vitamin E can do is essentially protect squalene from oxidizing as much or as fast, so they work together naturally in our skin without us even knowing mm -hmm. or thinking. But when there's good, there's always some bad because at the same time, vitamin E can also rapidly deplete with UVB rays from the sun, which are the rays that reach into the epidermis layer of our skin, which is where our sebum containing the vitamin E sits and protects us. This is why researchers and dermatologists recommend using vitamin E in combination with other antioxidants oxidants, especially vitamin C, which has been shown to help stabilize the vitamin E and help regenerate the production of it in our own skin. According to researchers at the Duke University Medical Center, to protect our skin from photo damage, when vitamin E is combined with vitamin C and used with sunscreen, it can provide four times the protection compared to just using sunscreen alone. So vitamin C and E are a dynamic duo that when they're paired together, it's way more powerful and can stabilize each other compared to if they were to be used alone as antioxidants. Sounds like us! We are not a pair. I'm trying to hold your hand and you're just squeezing my hand. Aren't I holding your hand? hand? Oh, like this. Ding! <laughs> Got there in the end. So with a sunscreen on top, they're like the three best friends that anybody could ever have. One, two, three, and you guys watching. <laughs> and just when you thought your life was content with three best friends, we're not there yet, because ferulic acid has also shown to stabilize vitamin C and E and takes the fourfold protection of vitamin C, E, and sunscreen to eight fold. Wow. So you can see with all these together, you know you have a dang good iron clad. <laughs> dang good. Dang good iron clad. So you can see with all these together, you know you have a dang good ironclad protective shield. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an Iron Man suit. <laughs> the closest thing to eternal youth. And now I think this is the perfect time to talk about some product recommendations. And after that, we'll go into some of the downsides of vitamin E and why it's not that suitable for specific skin types like oily skin. So let's introduce some of our favorite products. So these are some of the products that we've loved and used. We have like body and we have cleansing balms. We also have oils. Eye creams, eye vitamin C and a pill. And the capsule form. And also this one. This is the Claire's Vitamin E Freshly Juice Mask and also Booster. So you can see that it's spread across many different like skincare products because it is nourishing. And I think it's one of the more frequent, you know how like sometimes we just read off the active ingredients, mm. the key ingredients in mm. a lot of different products. It's pretty common in yeah. a lot of things. We want to start off with the DHC cleansing oil. We don't have it here, but that one is very high in olive oil and in the ingredients list, it's like the first ingredient. So you know that in terms of like a natural vitamin E that you're getting a pretty good source of it. And you can also ingest obviously olive oil, right? Mm -hmm. So they said when you eat it as well as apply it topically, it enhances the ability to like defend your skin. So it's like, you know, really inside out. Do you like that cleansing oil? I, I love it. Really it. Oh, really? It's that cleansing oil and the hand skin PHA blackhead controlling one that I use. Mm -hmm. I do like the DHC better. Mm. It's a lot more velvety. Yeah, and that one's been like a cult favorite for years and years. I feel like they've had that for more than 10 years. So with that one, it's the first step of your double cleanse. It removes all the makeup because oil attracts oil, water attracts water. That's why you go in with step one with a cleansing oil or balm and then follow with a water-based cleanser. And that one also has the tocopherol as well as rosemary oil, but it's like, it doesn't have a strong scent. No. It's very neutral. Yeah. It's really good for people with dry skin. It really, really nourishes your skin. This is the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. Rowena hasn't used this because she doesn't really use balms, but look at it. It's like mango sorbet. Yeah. Generally, cleansing balms do a really good job, but this texture is like none that I've ever 
tried before. It's like velvet. Other cleansing balms are kind of waxy. So the sea buckthorn oil or sea berry is rich in fatty acids, including oleic, linoleic, and omega-6, which gives it that bright orange color. And it's also high in carotenoids, which is an antioxidant. It's also got olive oil, the persimmon extract, and grapeseed oil, which is another high and rich antioxidant emollient that also contains vitamin E. This is also the first time I've ever seen persimmon extract in any like skincare ingredient. And apparently it's a free radical scavenger as well. So it works together with the olive oil, with the sea buckthorn, which is, yeah. Um, and vitamin E. And vitamin E. Next is this First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream with triple hyaluronic acid. There's also vitamin E in here. This is, I think, the only eye cream that I actually use. It's very well loved. I remember when we did um, First Aid Beauty, yeah. like this was one of the only products that she was like, I love it! There's colloidal oatmeal, allantoin, aloe, ceramides, and vitamin E. C and E, which is very calming and soothing for people even with sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. And then there's also encapsulated retinol. I feel like skincare brands these days love things love encapsulated. <laughs> but it is good because it helps with the delivery of those active yeah. ingredients. I love it because it's creamy, but it blends so easily and seamlessly into your face. Mm. And there's also a lot of hyaluronic acid, so it's very hydrating, while it's also helping you target your fine lines and wrinkles. Then something that we talk a lot about are the Paula's Choice Booster, um, Booster Line. And this is a C15 Super Booster with 15% vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like after doing research on this, you start realizing just how good of a formulation that Paula's Choice actually yeah. does, you know? So why we love these is because you can customize it to however strong of a potency mm -hmm. you like, and you can put it into your moisturizer, you can add it into your serum, you can even pat it on um, as its own separate mm -hmm. layer. So this can be used day and night, and of course, if you use it in the morning, always SPF. The good thing about this one is it's also not like irritating. And they have the most potent form of vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, and also tocopherol. So I find this is really good for brightening like hyperpigmentation, but overall. So then we have these, which we will, I really love, as you can this see. This is all I use. Yeah. Okay, so these are the Necessaire Body Wash Multivitamin body washes mm -hmm. and they come in three different um, like scents. scents. There's yes. unscented sandalwood. Sandalwood. And eucalyptus. eucalyptus. Okay, just like for design purposes, I love the functionality, yeah, of this. It's like the ergonomics of it because you just twist it open. You don't have to fumble over caps in the shower and like step on it and like potentially break your neck. But then you just like twist it open, pour it out and the texture is really nice. Um, the scent is also not like overpowering. Mm -hmm. But what we love about the formula is that it's got vitamin A, B3, which is niacinamide, vitamin C, E, omega-6, 9, and antioxidants. So it's got everything that you need. Everything! Literally everything. Because vitamin A, B, C, and E is very universal, this can be used on any skin type. Mm. And especially because when you're in the shower, your skin is very vulnerable, it's very soft. So what this does is while you're showering, it's replenishing your oils, it's not stripping away like bars of soap. Yeah. You know, it yeah. leaves it so like you're just a skinned chicken after the after the shower. This isn't sponsored. None yeah. of this is sponsored. And actually what I like doing with this no fragrance one is adding my L'Occitane oil with it Ooh. because this isn't scented, yeah. right? So it just, it's like an extra nourishing body oil in the it bar. It makes the mouth better too. Yeah. And we mentioned this in our body care mm -hmm. or body acne video. So if you want a little bit more in-depth information about it, you can go check out that video, but we really love this. Okay, so this one is a really popular one. I think a lot of you also really enjoy this. It's the freshly juiced vitamin E mask. I love this because it's <laughs> You love it yeah. so much. Yeah. It's completely unused. I have like three of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> so like this one, it's this really nice pudding. I was just gonna say, it looks like, like the almond texture. almond pudding. And it glides on so soft and cloudy, but it just like makes your skin so nice and supple. So it says it's boosting radiance and glow because it's got the vitamin E, which is nourishing niacinamide, which is like brightening, but also helps with pores. So this is just a very pleasant moisturizing mask that's not yes. too thick. Oh, it can also be used as a moisturizer. Oh, nice. Mm. The ones that we've mentioned have been formulated with like other key and active ingredients. This one is a skin oil. So it's much more potent in the pure form of vitamin E, but it's still the tocopherol. Tocopherol acetate is the first ingredient. This vitamin E oil has five essential natural oils. There's almond, apricot, avocado, sunflower, and wheat germ, which really helps to nourish and hydrate the skin. It's quite thick. Yeah, so these skin oils are like an intense concentration of like delivering vitamin E as well as all these other seed oils to the skin, which really helps as an emollient, but it also helps to soften the skin so that any of the broken skin cells or any of the areas that need repair are replenished. And you can also use it as a booster if you want to, if your skin is very dehydrated or it's just very, very dry, you can add it to your moisturizer, like a little drop, a little, little yeah. dollop and just mix it in there. So for super potent vitamin E, like the Jason's oils, it's best to use it at night because it is very thick and then it can transfer onto other places. Mm -hmm. So if you use it throughout the day, you're gonna be like, if bugs accidentally like, it'll be like contact <laughs> with you. <laughs> Hell. And the biggest thing to keep in mind with skincare products containing vitamin E is that it is normally used as a supporting ingredient and you actually rarely get the pure form of vitamin E in like skincare products. And that's not a bad thing because it could be a little bit too rich and too oily for most people to handle, which we'll talk about now <laughs> with capsules. Almost every vitamin E video on YouTube is about someone using a capsule hack. Have you seen it? Mm -mm. Like they just cut or prick into the capsule, uh -huh. squeeze it all out and apply it all onto their face. Uh -huh. So I wanna like try this cause I haven't done it before. I wanted to like keep it here. Whoa. So these are the capsules that are designed or bought to be like- Ingested? Ingested, yeah. So the thing is these oils actually remind me a lot of this skin oil. It's like almost the same thing mm -hmm. because there's a lot of other carrier oils formulated into this. This isn't just vitamin E. I feel so, like it's thicker. Yeah, like even more thicker, yeah. huh? So it all sounds pretty convincing, right? What we've said so far about like using vitamin E. But the thing is a lot of dermatologists say it's more of a popular belief than anything because there's actually too little evidence to support that this oil can really like change acne scarring. And the thing with scars is it really depends on like what type and at what point you start using this type of stuff. Because if the scars already formed and it's been there for a while and it's already developed like the skin cells yeah. and you know, it's like that shiny scar, yeah. it's already kind of too late. Joshua Zeichner is a director of cosmetics and clinical research at Mount Sinai Hospital. And he says that although applying vitamin E directly from the capsule might have benefits for the skin, it's hard to know exactly how stable this kind of vitamin E is and whether or not it's actually able to penetrate through the outer layers of the skin because it's not formulated for that use. So with that, don't go popping capsules and just follow the crowd. Even though it's probably more cost effective, the benefits are still not 100% confirmed. But we did find this DIY mask that sounds good if you wanna try it with these capsules, if you have it already. And what you can do is use one of these capsules, pop it open, add two tablespoons of yogurt and one teaspoon of honey and just apply that as a mask. So the downsides of vitamin E, we talked a lot about the good things. Now we know all the amazing protective, nourishing and softening qualities of vitamin E. It's hard to think there's any downside, right? <laughs> but there's always a balance of good and bad and just things to be wary about as each person's skin is so different. First thing to note is that vitamin E is rather oily in nature, so it's quite thick and heavy, especially if you use in a more pure form like oils or capsules. So this is the reason why it may not be suitable for those of you who already have oily or acne prone skin. Because if you think about it, you kind of don't really need it. Your skin is already producing vitamin E well enough on its own. And by adding an oily substance, it could further clog your pores that are already filled with sebum. You can probably pass on like pure 
vitamin E on your face especially. The body is a different matter because the skin is actually thicker on our bodies. The first step to tackling any skin condition, whether it's dryness, acne, or dehydration, is to first understand your skin and be aware of your body's changes. So that's vitamin E for you guys. We've gone through A, B, C, and now E. Vitamin D is obviously the synthesis from the sun, <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna do a video on that. But all in all, it's a very nourishing, um, ingredient. It works together well with vitamin E and frulic acid. It helps to absorb energy from UV rays and it's best paired with sunscreen. So everything that we already kind of know and we talk about all the time. If you guys have dry skin, I think dry, irritated, compromised skin barrier, this is a really good ingredient. But for oily skin types, don't follow the hack and just like apply it on your face because it's like too much. Have you tried? Uh, no. My pores would be like, dying, <laughs> suffocating, <laughs> let me breathe. Yeah. So make sure you check out our other videos and we'll see you in the next one.